right click network button. Click open network and sharing center. Click Ethernet 2. Click Properties button. Select Internet Protocol, version 4, TCP slash IPv4. Click Properties button. Choose, obtain an IP address automatically. And choose, obtain DNS server address automatically. Click OK button. Click Close button. Click Details button. Copy the physical address and IPv4 default gateway value. Click Close button. Click Close button. Close all open windows. Open any Internet browser, for example, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome. On your address bar. Type 192.168.1.1 In the username and password, type admin. Click wireless settings. Then, click repeater setup. In repeater setup menu, click enable. Then, click repeater WAN. Click, Scan AP button. After you click the Scan AP button, you will see the available wireless network. Select the Wi-Fi connection, that you want to repeat. Let's try CDR King 1. Click Select AP button. In Encryption key, type the current password of your existing Wi-Fi connection. Click Apply button. Wait until the connection was successful. In the username and password, type Admin. Click Wireless Setup. Change the wireless network name, or your Wi-Fi name, or SSID menu. You can customize your SSID in any form. This will represent as the name of your Wi-Fi. In Authentication menu, you have five options to select. Let's try WPAPSK. In Encryption key, type your Wi-Fi password. You can customize your password, minimum of 8 maximum of 64, in any order of alphanumeric. Click Apply button. Wait until the applying configuration was complete. In the username and password, type admin. Click System Status. Under the WAN, you will see the information look for connection status. If the HCP cable slash connect displayed and has WAN IP, this means that you are connected to the Internet. To check if you have access on the Internet, try to open any Internet browser and visit any website that you want to access. Let's try CDR King website. 